And that's what happened at the Biodio Molayo Gallery in Lagos. We'll bring you details after we drop a hint about our artists for this week and then show you your works of art on our online platform. Join us again. He is a Nigerian author of plays and novels that are generally about African village life, customs, beliefs and religious practices. His first publication was in 1957, a poem titled Penitence in a University of Ibadan campus magazine called The Horn and edited by fellow writer J.P. Clark. And just before we wrap up the show, let's reveal our artist for this week. The candle has gone out for one of Africa's finest hands. Born in 1934 in Alu, in the Kwe local government area of River State, South South Nigeria. Eleti Amadi attended Government College Umahia, Abia State in 1948 before proceeding to the University of Ibadan where he obtained a degree in physics and mathematics. He worked as a land surveyor and later was a teacher at several schools, including the Nigerian military school, Zaria. Amadi served in the Nigerian army remained there during the Nigerian Civil War and retired at the rank of captain. He then held various positions with the River State Government, including the Permanent Secretary, Commissioner for Education and Commissioner for Lands and Housing. So, where did writing fit in? It came at the peak of his academic career as writer-in-residence and lecturer at the River State College of Education where he has also been Dean of Arts, Head of the Literature Department and Director of General Studies. The literary world was lost for words when the news of his death hit the airwaves. Many would remember his works like The Concubine, Great Ponds and Sunset in Biafra, which molded great minds during their formative years.